today while I read the scripture, you can come with me to take some packages to my friends who are in quarantine. Right now, anyone who flies into Taiwan has to do a two-week quarantine in a quarantine hotel, and they have to have four negative COVID tests before they can come out. So we had a lot of people go to visit the United States this summer, and now that they're back, they're all in quarantine hotels. We're dropping off packages to make their stay a little bit easier. Our passage today comes from Ephesians 4. As a prisoner for the Lord, then, I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But to each one of us, grace has been given as Christ apportioned it. So Christ himself gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, and teachers to equip his people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. Then we will no longer be infants tossed back and forth by the waves and blown here and there by every wind of teaching and by the cunning and craftiness of people in their deceitful scheming. Instead, speaking the truth in love, we will grow to become in every respect the mature body of him who is the head, that is Christ. From him the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about fruit. So in Taiwan we have <clears throat> some fruit that you guys well know, like apples and bananas. But we also have some really cool tropical island fruit that we want to share. So this is, what is it? Papaya. 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 What does the inside of a papaya look like? Orange. Orange keeps what yeah. else? Hey, there's thousands of seeds. There's thousands of seeds. Thousands of seeds. So these are thousands of seeds. Not thousands, maybe not thousands, but this is the inside of a papaya. And usually we don't eat these little seeds, although some people online do. But we eat the papaya. <clears throat> Now we also have this, which is what? A watermelon. A watermelon. Everyone knows what a watermelon is, right? What's special about our watermelon? Our watermelon can be yellow. Our watermelon can be yellow. Should we see what color is inside? Look out, the love and hands back. Yellow! Yeah! <laughs> it's a yellow watermelon. And we actually get really excited. We do have red watermelons here, but we love a yellow watermelon because it's super, super sweet. Even sweeter than the red one. Okay, this, Zola, what's this? Bell fruit. A bell fruit. Some people call these a wax apple, but we call them a bell fruit. And the inside of a bell fruit is kind of squishy and spongy. In the middle. In the middle. But you can eat it all the way through. So the outside is a little bit crispy and then the inside is a little bit spongy in there. What do you got? Oh, Kiva wants to do this one. So, Kiva, what are these? These are dragon eyes. Dragon eyes. So, we have a couple different kinds of things that look like this here. We have one with a prickly outside. Those are called lychees, or some people call them lychees, but we call them lychees. <laughs> yes, a lot. Because in Chinese, they're called lychees. And these are called dragon eyes because sadly, lychees are out of season now. So you have to peel the outside off, and then the inside is kind of white and clearish. And then in between that, which usually we don't cut with a knife, we usually just pop it in our mouth and then. Out like you would a cherry. There's a big seed 
In the middle. It's dragon eye. And a lychee looks very similar, but the lychee has sort of a spiky outside and I think yeah. tastes a lot better. And it's red on the outside. Okay, what's this one? What's this? A guava. Guava. And there's also. There's more than one kind of guava. In Taiwan, we do have some guava that are red inside, but these ones that are in season right now are just white inside. And they're pretty hard, and some people just eat them like an apple. You just take it and eat it, and you can eat the seeds and everything. Okay, this is a fruit that I think you can buy at an Asian grocery store in America, but not a lot of other places. And it's called a dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Zola, do you like dragon fruit? Yes. What? Yes. What does it look like inside? What's inside look like? Um, sometimes it's pink. Pink? And sometimes it's white. Right. Sometimes it is right, Zola, but this one it's is pink. It's pink and purplish and reddish. And this was one of Zola's first fruits. One of the first things she ever ate was this. So the problem with dragon fruit, what's the problem with dragon fruit, Kiva? The pink dragon fruit. What happens if you touch it? You'll get a stain on your hand. You'll get a stain on your hand, but it stains everything. It'll stain the cutting board, it'll stain a bowl, stains everything. Even it's a knife. big mess, even the knife. Yeah, but some people really, really love them because they're super delicious. Can we do the mango? Mango is probably a fruit you know. But our mangoes here in gotta wipe off that stainy juice from the from the dragon fruit. Our mangoes here in Taiwan are really big and they're really sweet. And they're yellow. And they're yellow inside, yeah. So this is probably not the kind of mango you would put like in a salad or something, but it is super delicious to eat on your own. Sometimes we will pick them off the tree and just eat them with the skin on, but we usually don't do that. We cut it out with the skin. And then last, we have Zola. What is it? Um, do you remember? Passion fruit. <laughs> and passion fruit is really delicious in, like some people put it in cakes or on top of other things, but what, what do we do? How do we normally cut a passion fruit? We normally just cut the top off, right? And then what do we do? How do we eat it? We just sip it. We can sip it or just eat it with a spoon. So here's the passion fruit. And sometimes you will strain the seeds out and they put this in drinks or the girls just love to eat it plain with a spoon. You just eat the insides out. Super, super delicious. And it's squishy. And it is squishy. So, <clears throat> Kiva, which is your favorite kind of fruit? Mm -hmm. Dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Yeah. Yeah. Dragon eyes. Zola, what's your favorite? Mango. mango. I think I love mango too. Dad, what's your favorite? Mm -hmm. I think mine's also mango. Mm -hmm. And I don't really like papaya or dragon fruit, but Kiva, you like dragon fruit, right? Yeah? Zola, what about you? Do you like dragon fruit? Yeah. Yeah? So, even though we have all these different kinds of fruit, they're still fruit. And they still belong in the family of fruit, just like apples and oranges and bananas and all sorts of things. So, our kind of fruit. And it might look a little different than your kind of fruit, but it's still a fruit. And the scripture passage talked about how we are all one body and we're all connected. So some of us might be a little prickly on the outside and stain people's fingers on the inside. And some of us might have a lot of seeds and some of us might be big and some of us might be small. 
And some of us might look like a regular watermelon, but inside we're yellow. And those are all wonderful things that make us unique and different, but we're still all part of the body of Christ. And we're part of the body of Christ with you at Central. And we've been so glad to be able to show you our little corner of the world. And we now want in this week show you some fruit. Okay, well, should we say peace to all of them? How do we say peace in Chinese? Do you remember? Ping an. Ping an. We like to say ping an. And what did we say last week? We said, I love you in Chinese. Kiva, how do you say, I love you? Luo ai ni. Yeah, so we like to say Luo ai ni and ping an to you all on the other side of the world. Bye. 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 <laughs>